the last time that we came out here to Hemeldahl for our Christmas Day Rudolph hunt, we were able to check off about half of the objectives for the Holiday 2021 missions, and I should say by the time this video comes out, those missions will no longer be able to be completed, but the rewards for this year are quite good, and they're highlighted by a tripod stand, which I think is worth one of the highest single item amounts in the entire game. So I really want to complete these missions, and there are still quite a number of harvests and presents that we need to accomplish today. And I think maybe the most difficult one is going to be the unspooked lynx. So we're going to walk up this way, see if we run into any red fox or anything that we could just kind of quickly get an objective done with first. And then we're going to go into the southwest and look for lynx to get that done. Now that is the best news I've seen thus far today. A 30 to 35 kg road ear. All throughout the community, I have seen difficulties of harvesting a roe deer over 30 kg. That is one of the objectives required for the holiday missions. So one of the advantages, I would say, of having level 20 roe deer spotting is the fact that we are pretty well guaranteed having that estimate to know that guy's going to be over the 30 kg mark. And it's also been rather helpful when we spotted other roe deer. It's only a 5 kg range, so pretty much every other road deer that doesn't go 30 to 35 is not going to make it. And at 32.3 kg, that is going to check off one of the other potentially super time consuming objectives there. So, still have a little distance to go down to the tower there. I've had a lot of red fox around there, and we need a red fox scoring over 24. And once we kind of go down to the southwest for links, there are no red fox down there. So at least while we're on this side of the map, I want to look, and then we'll worry about the lynx there. There is a real chance there, and I think that fox sees us. And the problem is, we're in multiplayer, so he will run off. I should have went with a bow, really. But if we can just get a buckshot around him, he just took off, too. There is a very real chance at 20 to 27 that that guy can make it. And the thing that is crazy about that particular one is it was entirely a blind call. I just started calling because I knew Fox were in this area and fortunately he was walking and had he been trotting he almost undoubtedly would have got there too quickly and would have spooked so fingers crossed to see close to 11 kg here for a 24 plus and 9.8 is not gonna do it. 21.5 is an all right size Fox but not over that 24 mark and definitely having fired the shotgun now I think we'll fast travel down to the southwest. And by the way, these objectives don't have to be done on Himmeldahl. It's just they are all species that are on this map. So by hunting for one, we could potentially run into another. But we may go to Vatablaw for the Red Fox if we don't have it done by the end here. But down at these couple of tents, I've had success with Lynx in the past. So we'll try this spot and see. A lot of times I'll get a call straight away and a Rodier Buck, unfortunately, is not a Lynx. But just because of kind of the same thing we just saw with the fox, we'll just kind of slowly sneak down to this tree stand and probably put out the lynx collar and see if any decide to sneak in. I think what is in this case quite literally a bird in the hand is going to be better than two in the bush where we don't even know if there's any lynx around here. That ptarmigan went up to or was a minimum of 640 and we need at least a 620 so I'm going to go ahead and flush them. It is the front one that we want, which uh, definitely took its time. And the only reason that I did bother to flush them is we barely got that shot off. For some reason, when I first attempted it, it just didn't work. But I'm not sure if we need an airborne one. That one is just apparently escaping. I don't know if we ever hit it. But just in case it would, for some reason, not count to shoot him off the ground, I figured we'd go ahead and get him out of the air. And because he was a minimum of 640 and actually 650 based on the weight it would round up, he's in fact a 694. That will get the terming it done. And I've had a lot of success like at all of these 10 century stands all the way throughout the southwest kind of corner of Hemeldahl. So still a chance at a Lynx. And I would like to just kind of hear one call and know there's one around. We may do a couple of setups and see if we can bring one in. But I mean, when the Tarmigan was right there and had a guarantee with that score of Smith, we couldn't just pass that up and, you know, assume there may be a lynx around. That didn't take too awfully long. Now, the important part is, oh, there's two of them. That's interesting. Now, that one is the max weight estimate. I want to go ahead and spot the other one. For this particular mission, 
you just need an unspooked lynx. So either of these will work. Looking at the body size, I do think the front one's bigger and the weight estimate would confirm that. So we're going to go with the 223 here. I'd like to get them both just for the heck of it, but we'll kind of see what we can do. That dropped that one. I don't know if they run as slowly as in Call of the Wild. They surely do not. That may have hit, like, the back leg. Now, I'm not sure with the 223. With Bobcats, like, even with the bow, even if you just kind of barely hit them, they don't go that far. 223 is a little kind of underpowered. But we'll go and look after we pick up the main one, and it might actually be a decent scoring one, too. I like that weight estimate. It looks to me to be a pretty decent size. It is 36.9 kg, not too bad, and a 10.2 scorer. Now, obviously, a 127 CSS is massive, but we ideally would have wanted something over 11. I think I do have one 11 scoring links ever, but still, we don't have a lot of opportunities to shoot links to begin with, and this is no doubt a decent one. I don't immediately see blood from here. The other one, because it had a weight estimate up to 40, still could be bigger, but I want to go ahead and take a trophy shot of the one that we're certain that we actually got. As useful as this scope is, with the zoom all the way to 22.5 power, this is kind of the thing you get oftentimes in trophy shots, and it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I should have remembered to take the scope off before that trophy shot, but I didn't really know what the score of the Lynx was going to be. Now, quickly, and actually interesting to know, the other one was the one that originally called and got my attention. But I want to see if we maybe hit it. There's two tracks kind of side by side here. That may indicate that we did. Yeah, there's blood there. I really don't know if that's going to bring it down. I want to go and see. I've had this goal for a long time, and the recent addition of Axe Steer has even slowed me down a little bit more. But I want to get 100 harvests of everything in the game. It unlocks a profile banner, and links are undoubtedly going to be the most difficult one to get. So with the opportunity to get two in kind of one go there, as long as we can find it, that would be a nice little way to kind of pad our stats. In any other hunt, I think we would continue this track and try to go and recover the links, but I am quite convinced that that shot was not enough to bring him down. And rather unfortunate, like I said, I really wanted to gain that additional harvest, but we've got a number of objectives yet to complete. And quite possibly the biggest one is now finding the Golden Present. It's a rare one to find, and crouching along after a Lynx is not the way to cover a lot of ground, so we're gonna get moving, probably kind of in a direction like this, to get up towards the northeast part of the map, kind of to get on Red Fox, and also we still need a Moose as well. Well, a quick opportunity for redemption. I decided to fast travel, and this female Lynx called out quite close to the tent here, and I mean, it's naturally going to spook the other things around, but especially given the fact that we lost out on that male lynx just a moment ago, that is going to at least kind of replace that kill and help us to do that, and my goodness, the buckshot hit just about everything. That actually was our 25th duration lynx, by the way, fast traveled right on top of a blue present, but that one we no longer need. There were kind of two points to fast traveling here. This lake right down here tends to be very good for reindeer. So we can kind of give that a look and then head over this direction to look for Red Fox. I was really hoping to encounter a bull moose, just because it would be a little more interesting, but when a cow moose shows up that close, there's no point passing up the opportunity to get another mission objective done. And as far as the animal objective goes, that only leaves a red fox scoring over 24. Now, the gold present is still necessary to find as well. And I don't actually know if it matters. Like, I know there are presents on other maps. I'm not sure if Hemeldahl would be more likely to have more presents. By the way, go figure. There's a decent bull moose out there right after shooting a cow, but I don't think we're going to worry about that. It's not big enough to go anywhere into the trophy shot gallery or a trophy lodge. So we'll probably place the emphasis on Fox. I'd say we'll hang around for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, get down towards these mountains. I've had some success there. And if no Fox show up, we may try another map to try to speed that process up. That is a huge roadier buck. And by the way, 
32, 35 kg once again, but 215 to 265? We've got the 223 and the high mag scope. I don't know how far that is though. I mean, it could be the fact that a roe deer is a pretty small animal. Yeah, 250 meters, and I will admit, I do not know the drop of the 223, so this is going to be a little bit tough, but he's definitely spooked. And I mean, it can't be that much. Man, I don't know if that was wind or what. It was a little bit further right than I would have wanted. Hard to say if that's going to get into a lung or not. Unfortunate to kind of see him still going. I really hope that brings him down. That was, as far as score estimate goes, the best road here I've seen in probably almost three years. So, fingers crossed that's enough. Not the blood I would have hoped to see. At least with the road here we have high enough tracking level to know what the health percentage is on the blood. 59 to 75 on the second track at least gives me some optimism. I like to generally see three blood tracks, regardless of where the shot impacts, to like really have a good chance of bringing the animal down, but it may, especially if we take our time tracking, so I think we'll kind of crouch. We're nearing the first tower that I wanted to at least spend some time looking around for Red Fox, so maybe we could do a little bit of both here, but that's our next track. And unless it is blood, I think we're going to need to go stone. It is a footprint, so maybe we'll see him still stand around. Maybe it'll be enough to get him down. I think today we might have learned something. 223 body hit on a lynx, not enough to bring him down, but a 223 body hit on a road here seems to have enough power. Now, those antlers look pretty good to me. And they are the darker variant, which I'll talk about in just one second. 32.8 kg this time, and a 225 score, so not huge. I don't quite think we're taximizing, but definitely one to take a trophy shot of. Now, I mentioned the coloration of the horns. There are a couple of animals in Hunter Classic, and Rodier are one of them, that gain a little bit of score from the horn or antler coloration. Ibex are another one. But I think this guy gains maybe one or two additional points over a lighter colored antler just for having that particular coloration. And that worked out quite nicely. The hand just fits perfectly over the antler, so we'll just kind of zoom in a little bit here. Maybe I don't like being down quite that low, but something about like that. And I think that works as a pretty nice trophy shot. So he led us right into Red Fox territory. Like I said, I want to go down kind of through the mountain areas and look a little bit. And we'll see if we can either find that or the last present we need. Another opportunity for a red fox, and this time we've got a guarantee with 26 to 33 on the score estimate. Now, his weight is 10 to 15, so I would think he's probably not over 30. I mean, there is a chance if he's the just upper 14s. That estimate looked really good, and I've only ever had a couple of red fox above that 30 mark, so it would be kind of nice if he made that. He is a 12.0 kg, so just perfect for the animal part of this as far as objectives to wrap up. 26.5 score and a nice 97 CSS to go along with that. So that is everything in terms of objectives for the holiday mission, except for a gold present. And like I said, I don't know if Himmeldahl is the best map to look for presents on, We'll run around for a little while, see what we can find, and maybe we can run into another Rudolph or something, but worst case, we'll try a maybe more open map. I'd say this is about as stoked as I've ever been to find a collectible. As I mentioned, at the very beginning, that tripod as a reward for those missions, that is such an important uh, thing to a lot of hunts, and it's a valuable piece of equipment to get as a mission reward, so... Finally got that done, and actually I should say I've probably spent, I don't know, two or three hours looking for it, which wasn't that bad, and actually it came down to editing. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I am away for the holidays and had to prep a bunch of videos, and that was my plan just to run down the road a bunch of times until I'm done editing. That was my first run, and we finally got that done, but that officially then is going to do it for this video. We got the holiday 2021 missions done. Got the tripod, the 3000 GM, and I assume a trophy of some kind that didn't actually look that close to complete the, uh, the event. 
I'm really pleased with that. But anyway, like I said, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.